Hi, and welcome to Summer School. Okay, so I'm still playing around with how I'm going to start the videos, but since my name is Summer, I thought that was cute. Anyway, one of the things I'd like to feature on this channel are different activities um, that you can use during your math group time and your reading or literacy group time that follow along with differentiation. Um, so personally in my class, um, we have reading groups. We do that every day as part of small group instruction for reading. We also do a few full group reading days in addition, but anyway. Um, and so one of my reading groups will meet with me and I will go through reading phonics based reading lesson. Um, another group will meet with my teacher's aide and she helps them work with reading fluency and reading with expression and sounding out words. But then I usually have two or three other groups that need something to do. <laughs> so one of my centers uh, during reading groups is uh, practicing spelling words. Our spelling, our reading, our phonics are all connected together um, not because the curriculum was made that way, but that's because the teacher and I did that. And so when we're reading or spelling or going over certain phonics sounds, they all kind of line up. And so it definitely aids in their uh, better understanding of whatever concept. So <clears throat> I thought in this video, I would share with you all a center activity that I just came up with this summer. 2023 that will be new in my classroom next year and it also has a math com uh, math companion okay so one of my favorite places to go is the dollar spot at target now my target in the probably come july august september is real heavy on teacher supplements and the rest of the year it's more heavy in toys and seasonal decor um i got these in june so this is from the target spot I'm going to try to crinkle less. Here you go. And these are um, $3 each. These ones have numbers on them and math symbols. And these ones have the ABCs. So I'm going to open one of these packets off and come back so you don't have to hear all the crinkling. Okay. Okay. So I've opened these up. I'm first going to explain to you what I think I'm going to do with these in the spelling center. And then in addition how the numbers can be used in the math center. Now these are still the beginning stages, um, but <clears throat> I have a rolly cart in my area where I keep my literacy centers. And throughout this, you know, like video, um, video series, I will show you other things that I already have in this cart for spelling. The first thing that they'll do when we get into groups is they'll have one workbook page to do. Usually it's a word sort based on the special sound of that week, or maybe a vocabulary using those words that we're just using for that week's list. So after they've done whatever page, they then, which usually only takes five, 10 minutes at the most, and they'll still have 10 to 15 minutes left for spelling center. And so then they head on back. And so what I'm thinking about doing is either, either having them take these clips and putting them right onto the side rail. I don't know if you have those rolly carts in your room. I get them at Michael's. I can put a link in the description to the one that I got off of Amazon specifically. And it has rails where the drawer slides in and out. And they can take these little clothespins and they can maybe hook them on that rail. If that doesn't work, I'm going to string up some yarn, because I have plenty of it, or string, or cording, or whatever you have, in kind of this like loose, um, loose fashion, so that they can hang their word, the clips, on there to spell a word. Okay, so I just hung H-I here for hi. Okay, so that's one way that I was thinking is that they can practice with a partner because they, they will have anywhere from three to four, maybe five friends in their reading group. 
So then that's one way. I, I'm probably gonna go back to the dollar spot and buy a couple more of these because at this point, they can only spell words that have one letter. If they had a word that had a double letter in it, which we do, we have a lesson. <laughs> We're double letters. When So that is how I was thinking about using these clips, was that they could use those to spell with a partner or even quiz themselves. Their partner set, can say, how do you spell dog? And then they would go and take their clips, put it up, spell the word. Um, and then the math is also very exciting because they can use these to practice number sentences. So again, they could clip nine plus one, you know, equals 10. And they can practice their math facts. Um, they could make a, a problem for their friend, you know, and they can clip it up there and then their friend can go and answer it. So that is what I was thinking on how to use these um, clips for my math and reading center. And the, I just wanted to go over the idea of differentiation is that obviously not all kids learn the same way. There are some kids that excel with paper, pencil, learning and listening, but others need to have more hands-on activities, Plus, it's just sometimes fun to shake it up and do something that doesn't necessarily involve a workbook, a paper, and a pencil. So having these kind of activities is important. Now, classroom management is a big piece of this because you have to know that there's always gonna be kids in your group that are gonna maybe push the limits and maybe spell naughty words or maybe not spell words at all and just sit around. And so you need to have a good classroom management system that, um, that will help you keep that in order. You can choose to give consequences to those students that are not participating in the center like they should, or you can choose to reward the ones that are. Um, that's how I like to run my centers. Obviously, while I'm reading and teaching and while the teacher's day is reading and teaching, we kind of keep our eyes out, we glance, we look around. And at the end of reading groups, both her and I will say, okay, I really think that Sarah, Jessica, Tommy, and Bobby did really great during reading groups. Every time I glanced up, they were on task doing what they should. And then I give them a ticket. I later can explain to you all my classroom management and the ticket system, but, and then my teacher's aide will also say she'll give kids tickets when she thinks. And so continually rewarding them and then having the reward that goes with the tickets really helps people to stay on task. And uh, sometimes if my reading group has finished early and they're, everybody's having work time because when they're done with my group, then they can go sit and practice reading with partner or themselves. I then will just walk around and pass out tickets to those people that I see that are on task and doing their job. So um, keep in mind that our just keep watching because I will have more spelling um, center ideas. And in turn, I also will be putting out some of the ideas that I use for math groups. Um, yeah, so that is that. This is the end of that vid of this video. Um, different spelling or math activities that you can do during literacy or math groups. Um, I can look on Amazon to see if they have something like this to put a link in the description. But otherwise, I will put a link in the description to my spelling cart, which where in each of those drawers, I put different activities that they can do. All right. Thanks for watching and subscribing. Thanks for liking and sharing my videos. And then I think my exit line will be happy planning. <laughs> I don't know. All right. Thanks. Bye.